ones are the ones doing this thing. Get the service people they talk about us, they move to Shannon over there. And those people now they mean they don't they even they ship. But yeah, we are not shipping, we are boring. Because we are just just nobody is shipping to give them what to say. I don't know if you get nobody is shipping here to give them gist. And we are we when we did come be like we that they are home, they sweet us pass. You know, I really love listening to Fina speak. I really love watching her in her element, especially when she gets into that character of Fina the hype woman, Fina the skit maker, the comedian, the one that loves to make her fellow level two housemates laugh, the one that loves to give us the viewers drama. I love seeing her doing all of those things, even when she uses her slangs. But then it's moments like these when she gets to start giving unsolicited advice to a fellow housemate on how to conduct themselves on camera on how to pay, play their game on how to just comport themselves in the house guys it gets really annoying and this is what fina does not understand viewers do not like people who tend to know it all even if you know the game even if you know or you think you understand how the big brother ninja script is played out Keep it to yourself. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to listen. Just play your game. Play your game. Play the game that brought you into the house, that put you on our screens to watch for 72 fucking days. We do not care about what you know. But hell no. Fina does not care. She just enjoys opening her mouth. Wow, wow, wow. At every point in time, saying things that nobody even asks her about. And it is so annoying. Okay, you're welcome back <laughs> to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the T. And the T of this video is all about the rant that I gave at the start of this video. Yes, guys, I had to let it out. I had to let it out because I was really furious with Fina all through yesterday evening. Yes, Fina did a lot that got a lot of us, the viewers, talking and it wasn't pleasant talks yes a lot of the viewers were really disappointed in her yesterday would have been a great day for fina for reasons which i have shared before but i'm just gonna you know say it again for those of you that do not know if you do not know catch up on the fina and um, amaka's fight video on my channel so that you can have a heads up on what i'm about to say on this video before i start off this conversation officially i want to first of all acknowledge those of you that are new subscribers to this channel i want to say thank you so much for choosing to join the fswg family you are the realest mvps and for those of you that are returning subscribers thank you for staying true to this channel now, if this is your first time coming across my channel coming across my video thank you so much for clicking to watch but please do not hesitate to join the family by doing exactly what you see on your screen you can also follow me on social media as you can see on your screen all right um that said let's just quickly get into the video so yesterday evening the level two housemates had had their first diary session of the level up season and um fina had been able to vent in the diary room about how she felt about her altercation with Amaka in the early hours of the morning that yesterday. So back in the mansion, they had a brief task um, that Big Brother had given to them and I presume that that task was to warm them up as most of them were complaining about the cold in the building. I noticed that Fina was in a very, very sober mood and um, what's her name now? Beauty had gone ahead to have a conversation with her, commending her for her um, self-discipline, commending her for holding back herself and restraining herself and not um, reciprocating Amaka's energy that morning because in the morning whilst they were outside in the garden Amaka had really said a lot of nasty things about her Amaka had dragged her Amaka had been very very intentional about pro provoking Fina and Fina had not reciprocated or even reacted at all so um Beauty had gone ahead to commend her and to also advise her to try as much as possible to take a breather when people are coming for her you know so as not to get into multiple altercations during the entire season of the show after that conversation fina was in a sober mood she wasn't particularly upset or even excited she was just feeling really down and decided to have her own moment of introspection now while she was having her own moment of silence and you know thinking deep thoughts um there was another kind of conversation going on in the lounge um this was the conversation that 
Amaka had raised to Big Brother during her diary session where she had complained that the level one male housemates were hotter than her own fellow level two male housemates. So they were just making jokes about it. Amaka was basically screaming that, oh, Big Brother, bring more guys into this house. I have had conversations with all the guys in the house. I want to talk with more people, bring the male guys from um, the male housemates rather from the level one house. You know, they were just having fun, just talking. And that was when Fina decided to school them. <laughs> Joking, like, I'm a reality business. What we're doing is not for ourselves and those people not they mean they don't they even the ship. But yeah, we are not shipping, we are boring. Because we are just just nobody is shipping to give them what to say. On the reasons they should not be giving too much screen time or mentioning the names of the level one housemates too much. She went on to talk about how, oh, you know that this season. There are two channels of the show. There are two houses. There's downstairs, there's we that are staying upstairs. And we are 24 housemates. Big brother divided us into two groups. Blah, blah, blah. No, we are giving them attention. You guys are the ones doing this thing. You get The same people they talk about us are the most fashionable people there. They talk about who? Like, for me, they'll be like, this house, this house. Level two, they talk about level one. Level one says. Um, viewers are going to be watching us and they're going to be deciding which house is more exciting. So we should, you know, bring more things that would make them have something to talk about us. Guys, she even went as far as talking about, oh, like the other house now, we don't know if they're having ships already. Ships will be making them, you know, to have um, activities, to have content. And uh, yeah, we don't have ships yet. Everybody's just doing on their own, on their own. Had it been we have ships now, people are going to start talking about us. Like, guys, Fina was leading. Oh my God, I wish, oh my God, I so wish that I could play the entire clip. This girl went on and on and on talking about the entire script that passed Baby Niger housemates have been playing. Those ones that bring the, the idea of having ships and relationships in the house just to create content. Guys, Fina was talking about all of these and placing emphasis on the need to create ships in the house. And it was so disgusting, to be very honest. It was so disgusting. It was very, very annoying. And it was very, very, I don't know, but it just really painted Fina in a negative light to me, to be honest. Now, I understand that all of the housemates, their biggest house, they are desperate to win. So, I understand that she's really desperate to create content, yes. But then, the fact that she was now saying all of those things, and first of all, so before I even continue with what she was saying, her manner of approach, the way she had spoken or even relayed that message to her fellow housemates, it came off as that one person that wants to be the head of house, that person that wants to be like the head girl in the house, that person that wants to be in charge, that person that knows it all. Oh, I have been auditioning for Big Brother since I was 20 years old. That's for the past five years. I know it all. I know what's up. You people should listen to me. Guys, it was so annoying. It was really annoying. And it created that awkward moment of silence. I mean, her fellow housemates, they felt really embarrassed because they were genuinely having fun. They were genuinely enjoying the conversation and us the viewers as well we were we were getting entertained i was having fun i was laughing at most of the dry jokes and the wet jokes that they were making and so fina just came like a party pooper and just spoke all of that goodness all of that content all of that rich content and it was so annoying and she was sounding like she knew the mind of us the viewers like fina who told you you know what we want i don't understand who told you who told you that you know what want to see. So Ilebaye and Daniela had gone ahead to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her at that point in time. Even Beauty was really disappointed, yes, and offended. So Beauty did not bother talking to her. Beauty just like, you know, you just spoiled the mood. So the other two girls, they went ahead to have the conversation with her and she now calmed down and explained, as I have just explained, you know, to them that listen, we have our own house. Let us create our own content. Let's not talk about these level one housemates too much. We are kingdom trend. People are going to be hearing their names a lot other than hearing our own names, which is really right about guys, to be very frank with you all. I mean, Fina's reasoning, a line of reasoning, a line of thought, it made a lot of sense. She had a valid, valid point. I mean, she's 100% correct. But the problem is, the viewers do not want somebody to tell them the game. The viewers want housemates that will actually interpret the game, play their game, 
and play the big brother game. We don't want you to come and tell us. Mm -mm, don't tell us. We, for us, actions speaks louder. What we see you doing is what counts, not what you are telling us. It's all about what you are doing, you know, to earn your stay in the house, to earn our votes. That is that. We don't want you to come and be giving us lectures. We already know these things. We already know. We've, we've been scolded about Big Brother. And I loved the fact that Ile Baye had told us straight up that, listen, your intentions are good, but your manner of approach made it come across as off and you created an awkward situation. But then the problem with Fina is she's very, very defensive. She would not see the wrong in what she did. Why were the viewers upset? Aside the reasons I have given, there was also the fact that Fina would have had a great day online yesterday. Our diary session was the best. Everything she discussed, everything she said to Biggie, it was spot on. Her level of tolerance, the way she tolerated Amaka's own provocation all through the day, guys, it was really spot on. People were already giving her accolades, right? People were praising her, people were trending her, people were standing her already. But then, that uh, over savvy spirit that just entered her body in the evening, guys, it was a huge turn off. And I'm hoping that she does not repeat it because if she continues that way, is that her mouth that does not have filter? Mm? <laughs> like the filter she went to go and ask Big Brother in the diary room, it's going to earn her an early eviction. Yes, courtesy of the viewers. So if, if she knows what's good for her, she needs to channel her energy into creating exciting and entertaining and, you know, drama-filled, violence-filled, in my opinion, violence-filled content, right? Other than telling, you know, the housemates how to act, how to behave. Guys, we don't want another white money assistant general in the house and that's on period guys i would love to hear from you all what do you think about um fina's unsolicited advice do you think she was in the right do you think she was in the wrong what do you think just go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and i will see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah do you have an amazing day bye